Hi, my collective family. How are you guys doing? I am sending you a multitude of love, light, and positive energy. It is Goddess Meek, and I thank you guys for your love, support, your likes, shares, and subscribes. Let's go ahead and get into your message, guys. Let's see what message spirit wants to give you this evening. It is evening here in Maryland. How are you guys doing? I'm from Baltimore. Where are you guys from over here? Drop in the comments and tell me where you guys are from. I would like to know where you guys are. It's cold here. Is it cold where you are? What's the weather like? Hi, everybody. Let's go ahead. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. This video is for all signs, all placements. When you get this video is when you can apply it to your life. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, overall energy for my collective. All signs, all placements, please. Thank you for giving us clear and concise messages. Hopefully you all are healing. And these messages are giving you guidance in your situation and on your journey. Let's see. So, so far I see unavailable, I see marriage, and I see patience. So this is about some type of commitment, but there are outside interferences, maybe interfering on this connection or this relationship. That card is saying interference, an external party is intruding on this relationship. Then we also say everything will unfold in divine time, so have faith. Don't count yourself out just yet. Make sure that you are staying optimistic. Make sure you're focusing, guys, okay? It's very important when you're trying to manifest your dreams that you think positive. So know that you deserve whatever this is that you're manifesting, and it's going to come to you in divine timing okay we have marriage here this relationship is moving toward a sacred union so whatever this is that you're dedicated to whatever this is that you're invested in it could be love it could be a literal marriage it could also be your business or what you do for work um but this is leading to a sacred union it this is telling me that it is something that is growing all right and you're invested and because you're invested the universe sees this so it's growing okay um but unavailable a person in your energy is unavailable to give you all you deserve so so it could be something going on with a person and there's some type of external party. So maybe this person is available to you and you guys are getting to know each other, but maybe they're not really available fully to fully 100% invest. Or maybe it's something distracting someone here from actually giving you their undivided and full attention, which is what you deserve. So let's see exactly what Spirit wants you to know about this energy on the board. We're going to pull four Lenormand cards and then we're going to clarify everything with the Tarot. But underneath the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is leap of faith. It is safe to make the move you're considering. There's a new love here or recommitment to love that's developing. So this usually is the recent past where someone was unavailable to give you their undivided attention. And I mean, as time went on and as you two found common ground, now this relationship could possibly be moving into a deeper level of commitment. This is something that's what, what's been happening recently. So maybe you're working on something with someone, a marriage, a relationship, family. This could be anything, like I said, that you're invested in. And then patience. But there is some interference and I don't feel like that the interference is gone fully yet. All right. And then we have, um, yeah, with this new love, new opportunity or some type of move you're making. Okay. So let's find out what Spirit wants to tell you. Let's get the Lenormand cards and see what comes out for the Lenormand. It's just another way of clarifying, I mean, giving you more clarity on your story. Hi, my lovies. Thank you guys. I really love you guys. I'm sending you love, light, and positive energy as always. All right. And you could be talking to somebody about this energy that's surrounding you. I saw the bird card. I see the open book. That's representing something being in, um, revealed to you. Some type of information. All right, guys. That's enough. Let's see. Spirit, show me clear messages for the collective. Time is of the essence, okay? So there's something that you're doing or invested in. And it's all about the right timing, okay? Somebody could be 40 here. The number 40 could definitely be significant. And it's also 11 o'clock. Or no, it's 10... 10 Eleven ten on this clock. Okay, so that could be significant. One 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 zero, and it is November the first. So you definitely could be manifesting some kind of fresh start in a relationship with someone, or something new is um developing. 
Show me clear messages here for my collective family, all signs, all placements. Clarify this message for us. Oh, we got somebody. Um, these pesky mice, okay? Um, there is another mice card, and that mice card where, is where somebody actually got in. So right now, this mice card is showing me that there's something interfering, but it hasn't really caused real damage just yet, but something is trying to interfere in something that you want or something you're trying to invest in. It could be your relationship. So there is outside interference. This is just showing the interference. It's showing the people trying to get in or the situation, like whatever this is, this is people spying, looking, plotting, all right? This is a plan or somebody making a plan to infiltrate or stop you or whatever this is that you're trying to do, invest in or move forward with. It is somebody plotting. So this person knows about you. If it is a person, they definitely know about you. We have the compass card too. Somebody could be trying to figure out when or how to do something. There's somebody here that's trying to find their way, trying to find their way maybe out of a situation with the compass card. They want to send you a message. This is sudden news, something coming in, um, news from somebody loyal, somebody who wants to show a level of loyalty. Um, this dog is very big and this man has gotten older. So this is someone that you've known already, somebody who has invested, somebody that um, you rely on, you trust in, somebody that you possibly could have been growing with, with this marriage card. Okay, but somebody definitely is going to be coming in talking to you about something. Um, I feel like you are trying to find a common ground with someone. Um, let's see what comes out because this didn't flip over. It was just at the bottom of the deck. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify this marriage card for me. But I do feel like it's somebody from the past that you've been dealing with. Wow, a snake. Somebody is definitely plotting here. This is an enemy. This is somebody who is spiteful, vindictive, all right? Somebody that causes you to look over your shoulder. Somebody is trying to manifest some type of ending here for someone. Spirit is saying, look closer and just be patient. Something is not what it seems. So something could seem like it's okay, but it's not. And when it comes to this relationship, moving to a sacred union, or you actually building and investing in some something, it could be work, love, or life. There is a snake here trying to interfere in your growth and your development, and they're watching. So somebody is paying attention to this relationship or this um, opportunity or whatever this is that you're invested in. All right. And this could definitely be at the workplace. This is representing an institution, but this is also representing something very solid. All right, this could be you very solid in your position or um, in your relationship. It's representing you having a very solid position. All right, it also represents protection, somewhere safe, um, and also uh, establishment, an uh, organization, something really structured, really built on a solid foundation. All right, so somebody's trying to interfere in that, I feel. Show me interference through it. Yeah. A need for you to be strong here i feel like somebody here could possibly have a family with someone also and you have this outside interference and this could have something to do with a marriage or a relationship stork card maybe you're redeveloping something or you have a new business or something new that you're building and you have these mice look here they are right under the new beginning so they found their way in this is them spying they found a way in this is them watching at first and now they found a way in and they're really gnawing away at whatever this is somebody really is trying to tear down your um your situation or tear up something that belongs to you and garden card this could be something happening in the community but somebody is definitely trying to manifest an ending for someone I see the coffin card here. It's like somebody wants, it's like somebody is rushing in. Maybe somebody doesn't want somebody to seem so loyal or somebody is trying to make somebody end it with somebody that they've been with for a while. So if you're having problems in your relationship or problems in your career or whatever the case may be, there's somebody deliberately trying to cause these problems and come between you and your person or whatever this thing is that you want. It's a snake here that's been planning and plotting the whole time. So this person is watching you, trying to come in between your whatever this is that you have. 
All right. Let's see what else is going on here. I was actually drawn to use these cards. Let's see. But I really want to put these to the side. And I want to see how this person is feeling and what's the energy. What's the energy of this person? I feel like you're gaining clarity about this. Some of y'all knew all along that it was somebody plotting on you. Or whoever this is, it's like you know this person's trying to interfere in your relationship or your position. Maybe somebody is trying to take your position at work. Or every time you get ahead, they're trying to trump you or stop you or whatever this is. But they're watching. And it could be more than one person. This mice is, These mice are in a group. So it's more than one person. But only two are really literally trying to eat away at your career, your reputation, your relationship, but it's two people that one is older and one is a little younger. And these people like really have it out for you. They're trying to interfere in whatever you're doing. Yeah. Something here about attraction, present. So present, the present moment, somebody is not fully available to give you what you want. And with this offer, Maybe it's a need for you to take your time with this and give this person a chance to clear the way for you fully. Because even though somebody could be coming towards you making an offer, it's going to be tough, a little tough if you go after it right now or you fully open up because there is somebody else in the picture. And this person is very spiteful and very vindictive with this snake and this mouse card. Um, This is definitely energy for you to be cautious of. All right. So let's see with the bear you need to be strong right now because there is external parties trying to interfere in the chemistry that you have with somebody or something so it could be something that you're invested in something that um it's like you attract a bunch of beautiful opportunities and somebody could be trying to stop that you could attract a large crowd or attract a lot of prospects because people really love you you're very magnetic people like your energy and somebody could be trying to stop it or you and your person have very crazy chemistry passion and a deep love and somebody is trying to interfere um whatever this is is something that you love something that you're really invested in it could be something that you're very passionate about and somebody's trying to stop that all right, let's move on to the tarot and see what the tarot wants to tell you about this energy. Let's see, guys. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit guides, please clear messages, please. Show me what I need to see about this energy on the board. Clarify these mice has something to do with work possibly or making your marriage work all right we got work the empress the empress and balance karma i could be talking to one of my earth signs i could be talking to a taurus i could be talking to someone that's in their highest form of energy very hard to take down so you're very hard to move it's like you're very stable and grounded and also very wise for somebody who i'm talking to here and the universe the divine is on your side this is representing balanced karma um this is also representing manifestation energy with the moon energy it's also it's not the moon it's karma but they're celebrating all right, they're celebrating a, bright, a brighter day. They're celebrating the sun coming after this eclipse. And this is also representing your manifestation power. Somebody is in their highest frequency here. And people see this. Somebody could be watching you online. You could be somebody who is popular online. You could do your work online, okay? Whatever this is, is working well for you. And you're getting a recognized victory here, but there is somebody that's watching this. And somebody is not as proud or as excited as you might think that they are. Um, you definitely are aware of this energy around you because I saw the sun energy around you bringing clarity. And not only that, this represents your sharp intuition, all right? And this is Empress energy. So not only are you pregnant with new ideas and you have a lot of answers, you have a lot of wisdom, you're also financially wealthy, like you're doing well in your finances or you're in a stable position and you are capable of making so much more all right i see flowers blooming around you so you have these new opportunities coming in and i feel like you're working on something something that you're invested in all right but there is somebody here um that you're trying to go toward or somebody here that could be somebody from the past and this could be a marriage or a deep relationship um right now somebody is pretty distracted 
they have let somebody come in and infiltrate on your relationship. If this is a job or a career, there's somebody else that they're looking at, a new prospect that they may feel is brighter, younger, better, exciting. But I don't think it's all those things. I just feel like this person is putting themselves out there competing with you and they're, they're literally plotting with the mice and the snake. They're plotting. So be vigilant with these binoculars on this offer. Like you have this offer, you could want to make an offer and spirit is saying, be careful because everything is not what it seems. It says, take a better look, take a closer view. All right. Maybe it's a need for you to pull back and make a different plan or just let things unfold naturally because look better and patience. This means that you need to be careful because if you look closely in these binoculars, it's two different things. One side is showing one thing and the other side is showing another thing. So something is not what it seems. All right. So be very cautious about this offer that's being given to you or whatever the case may be. All right. Um, even though there is love here for something or someone there, like I said, this person is distracted right now. Yeah. And let's see. Show me <laughs> attraction. Somebody definitely sees you as a bright opportunity with this person from the past coming back or somebody that you've been dealing with since you were younger, all right? This um, positive opportunity or good news, somebody sees you as that. So somebody definitely does want to work things out with you, but it's like right now, they're attracted to this serpent energy. Whatever this serpent is, they're really sly, they're really sneaky, and they'll use whatever tricks they can to tempt somebody or to get somebody to come in, all right? And with this hot, fiery attraction, they could be using sexual energy, primal energy, anything like that to pull you in and tempt you, I mean, well, your person. Because I feel like this is what they're doing to the, out, the person that you're going toward, all right? And they're trying to pull them their direction. So let's see. Show me attraction. Yeah, this broke your heart. Yeah, some type of communication. Somebody wants to talk to you, but they can't. No justice. Confused. Somebody's confused about what's going on. But somebody, it's like so... When it comes to communicating with you about whatever is happening, this person is not. Somebody here feels tied down or they're overthinking something here, some type of communication that they received. Somebody feels like their hands are tied. This is a mental prison and this is stuck overthinking something. So I feel like whatever this serpent energy is, is keeping somebody feeling trapped or stuck to that situation and it could be some type of karmic or whatever this is this person has attached to them all right and this person is having trouble shaking this person off they want to talk to you about it and they're heartbroken that they let this happen to this marriage because i feel like they let somebody in your marriage or in your relationship and now they're stuck to this person so they're having a hard time shaking this person off even though they want this right and they feel like they're not really getting any justice. They're very stressed out. Somebody could be depressed with this five of swords and this nine of swords. It's like somebody feels like this is the ultimate betrayal. All right. And they're very sad, very bothered. Okay. This could be an air sign that's feeling this way. But somebody wants you to know that they love you very much. Like this person is depressed and sad, stuck in their head about the things that they're experiencing because of their choices. So karma, I feel like this is their karma. It's really taking a toll on this person. And right now they're just unavailable. I see you still caring about this person. And this person does still care about you. But now they made their bed. They got to lay in it. They need to find a way out of this situation. And spirit is protecting you. The divine is protecting you from this energy. God is definitely trying to warn you about this person um, and definitely separated you two for a reason. This person has work to do. All right. And you don't deserve this karma. So you're not going to be a part of this. Show me offer. Yeah. Pay attention. Use your intuition here when they're offering you something. All right. Take your time because I feel like everything is not what it seems. And they could be offering you a higher level of commitment with this high priest energy. All right. A relationship, dedication, doing things the traditional way, even marriage. OK, but or rededication to marriage. They're offering you a fresh new beginning, a brand new opportunity, but definitely pay close attention. Okay, look a little bit deeper. 
Somebody could be dealing with some type of dysfunctional relationship with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Or a dysfunctional marriage. It's like an unhappy family or an unhappy household or something like that. Yeah. So Spirit is saying, use your intuition. This person is probably going to be gaslighting you, trying to tell you whatever you want to hear. Right? Yeah. This could also be a young magician trying to do a spell to get people to walk away or trying to get, get this person that they're with to walk away or this person could be dealing with a karmic doing some type of spell to make you walk away or to get them to walk away from you if this is a relationship and somebody does magic, okay? Um, Because this is a karmic here. Right here, this is a karmic energy here, possibly. Or I could be talking to my queen of wands and you're healing and very guarded from whatever this is. Um, the wheel is going to be turning in your favor soon, but this also represents karma. So I feel like this person is experiencing some type of karma stuck to this karmic person that they've been dealing with behind your back. And now they want to come towards you. They want to come back and they want to work things out, but you're guarded. Something here is going on. It's like you're guarded from whatever this is doing, whatever is happening here. Mm -hmm. With the Eight of Wands energy, they could be sending you a lot of fast messages. This could be even you and the, um, them waiting to see you, waiting for you to come their way. Somebody could even be waiting for you to come back to work again because I feel like somebody here is dealing with somebody at work. And there's a lot of people gossiping and watching you guys. And somebody is definitely trying to come in between you and another person. So it's a need for you to pay close attention to what's going on. Um, I feel like you're very loving and you care about this person a lot, but it's a need for you to be very strong and you're very spiritually wise. So spirit wants you to use that wisdom. You're very emotionally balanced. So just balance your emotions and be patient and let everything unfold naturally collective. So that's the energy that I have for you today, because something definitely is not as it seems. Okay. Let's get you a card to close out. Spirit show collective what they need to see. What's the energy for them here? Perseverance in a sacred contract. So this is a marriage or something of that nature. It says you have a sacred contract with the universe. Trust that there is a divine order behind everything. So like I said, God is definitely trying to intervene and warn you about this person in this situation. Spirit wants you to know you've gotten through survival mode. Now it's time to live and blossom into more. The worst is behind you. Okay. So don't be afraid to walk away from this situation for good and just live your life. I feel like there's so much more out there for you. And this person still has work to do, but you, you've been healing. It's your time. Spirit says, look closely. This person is possibly offering you the same thing that you just let go. Just dressing it up. So be careful, guys. Sending you love, light, and positive energy. For bookings, you can book me at closer to number two, mydestiny.com. Make sure you manifest tonight. It's 111, okay? So manifest something great tonight. I love you guys. Bye.